All right, March 17th, another coronavirus update. Quick, quick one. All right, so according to John Hawkins, 101,371 confirmed cases of coronavirus outside of China. That uh, We also have 3,931 deaths outside of China due to the coronavirus. That's a mortality rate outside of China of 3.88%, according to Johns Hopkins. Uh, as I said before, we expect this to double every four to five days generally. Uh, of course, there are going to be outliers. So if, if we go by that, uh, we have 34.4% increase in the last 48 hours of confirmed cases. Um, using that exponential, uh, which gives us about 19 or off 15.9% increase per day uh, for the last 48 hours. That gives us a 110% increase uh, in five days, which is in that range of 100% increase every four to five days generally. Uh, with the death rate, um, or the death toll, we have an increase of 48.23% in the death toll for the last 48 hours. That gives us a, an increase of 120% in the death toll uh, after four days. That, that's what we're, it suggests. So we're still looking about that uh, four to five day range for the death toll and the uh, mortality rate. For the U.S., we have 49 states, every state but Washington, uh, or, uh, West Virginia, including the, um, the District of Columbia, our capital, uh, and, and uh, the United States. So as I said before, expect New York to surpass uh, Washington state. That has happened twice. Uh, two days ago it happened and it happened again this morning and I think it's generally gonna surpass Washington um, soon enough but it, there's kind of like a leapfrog effect so 4,661 case confirmed cases in the US that's gonna jump as we get a lot more testing uh, with 85 deaths that's a mortality rate of 1.82 percent but we got to keep in mind with the US and other countries outside of China that uh like for instance, Italy still has a overwhelming majority of cases that are not recovered, meaning that people can still add to the mortality rate if it stops spreading today and we had no new cases. Um, we'll, we'll still see the mortality rate go up as people do not fully recover. And that's true for the US. As we see uh, even more so, hospital beds, um, uh, respiratory, um, uh, equipment uh, and medication, uh, medical personnel, all that, uh, hospitals in general become, uh, start to thin out, the mortality rate is going to go up tremendously. Um, so a lot of people are talking about flatten out the curve. I mentioned this maybe a week ago to where we can artificially uh, flatten out the curve in a way that uh, we actually spread the coronavirus to small regions to where we can use more medical personnel uh, to maybe from other regions to uh, go towards those regions and kind of counter quarantine um, certain areas like nursing homes. Like let's say the state of Washington, we just spread there intentionally. Um, we can use the personnel while we still have a few thousand cases throughout the rest of the US. Uh, Washington state and New York have about a thousand cases each, confirmed cases. There could be several more beyond that. But that would kind of help us flatten out the curve to where three to six weeks later, uh, we're good to go. There's uh, We don't have to worry about millions of people on in certain regions of the U.S. and now help flatten the curve more than simply just uh, quarantining or avoiding public places, for instance. Uh, if we know that it's going to hit a, a certain... Uh, area of the population, density of the population over time. Um, and then the density is going to be um, half of what it would be, uh, which is what the CDC is suggesting, what it would be if we just naturally let it spread, where it's going to be way more than what we have in hospital beds, which is about a million. Um, at, at, uh, at the peak this way, there's going to be several small peaks as we hit these regions. And it's going to be much, much less than what we would have if we did hard quarantining, uh, start so social distancing, etc. If we added the two together. Um, so that's something to look at. 
So last 48 hours in the U.S., confirmed cases have jumped up 57.89%. We're going to see that continue to jump up as we test more and more people. We start catching up to the actual reality. Um, and deaths went from 85 and increased, uh, it went to 85 and increased 49.12%. So we can see that uh, we're gonna quickly add a lot of cases for the next probably several days, uh, confirmed cases, and the uh, de the mortality rate is gonna go down, but it's gonna catch back up and surpass what it is now easily. Uh, that's what we should expect. So that's something to keep in mind. And um, you know, there's um, some um, counties and cities that are uh, doing some quarantining. And I think that's pretty disgusting. This is the US, this is not Italy or Iran or South Korea, where we have rights in this country. Uh, we have a constitution and I'm not for authoritarian government and the reaction to fear. So let me know what your thoughts, where do you draw the line in terms of that? And uh, where do you think this will be at the end of the month? I guessed um, weeks ago that it would be this is probably like two or three weeks ago before many people were even talking about this. Uh, I guessed it would be between 90,000 and 600,000 cases, confirmed cases on the last day of this month. Um, so we're still looking to be in between that, which is what I guessed quite a while ago. Let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, we'll see how this adds up uh, when, you know, uh, there could be people in West Virginia that are asymptomatic that have it but don't yet, you know, uh, yet know it when y'all think that would happen. Uh, subscribe if you like the video, like the video if you like the video, dislike it if you dislike it, and uh, let me know your thoughts.